Okay, I just got back. And, well, I just got back. Well, I just got back from uh, the Guggenheim. You know, Frank Lloyd Wright. His thing there. I'm gonna set up my thing first before I do anything. I've come on this design finally after all this time. My blue and white for for Ogun is going through the uh, condo blade thing. I always have my art towel. That's the because you know. The way I figure it, you know, Hotep's got my back. That's what so it's on my back. What else I need to get? Oh, I think I'll put something on today. I'll wear something. My wife gave me this from South Africa a long time ago. I don't wear I don't wear jewelry and nothing like that. Well, I don't wear accoutrements. I'm not accoutrements. I don't wear stuff. But since I'm thinking of my wife, I think I'll put her on. Today, uh, what else? I need my glasses, Chris. Oh, I better get my reading glasses. I better read this thing. What else do I need to get? Oh, wait a second. Put these on. Ah, hey. Okay, I should. Let me put my normal radio. Do I have this here somewhere? What's going on here? It's my favorite bag they use. I haven't, ah, haven't used it here. At all, I just pulled it up from Virginia. Hey, you all move out the way. Gotta put my. Normal radio, because we're in full normal radio flight. Why? Because we're working on a play. We got an audio drama to do. Well, I always have my normal radio flag right there, but put this here like that. So it'll be whatever. Uh, but I was at the Guggenheim. Let me see. Oh, and then I came back and then I got from the health food store around the corner, I got some food, you know. I think I got the plantains, five plants, well, stewed plant, plantains. I got the veg, um, what do you call that? The the veg spaghetti. Uh, oh, salmon. They had curry salmon, so I got curry salmon. And one more thing, I think I got some eggplant thingy. Anyway, so we're gonna have that tonight later on. But right now, I got some sorrel juice from them. I can't read this thing. Whatever it says in it. Let me get my other glasses. My reading glasses. Hey, right, my reading glasses. I gotta put some light on here. Can y'all see? I'm gonna put some. Put my light on just because uh, I'm here. I just want to put it on just because I like it. <sighs> oh no, oh, got it upside down. Da -da! I just like that light, you know. I'm gonna put my reading glasses on. Got from the VA, I can see what I'm, what I'm putting into my body. Cause down in South Bend, I don't gain so much weight on my tummy. I gotta go to St. Louis. Maybe I'll start my exercise program again and get it off. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm putting it out. Cholesterol zero. It's carbon is 15%. Total carbohydrates 15%. Ooh, that's sort of high. Sugar 47, 46 grams. That's sort of high for the soil. I'll uh, tell you what's in it. Well, it says soil. Shake, it feels good. Refrigerator. Keep refrigerated above sleeve, sleeve level, something else. Oh, the cheek is located, blah, 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 blah. How do they make it? Cup maintains essential life. So, they got some stuff that I can't read. Anyway, so I put it in there, but I'm going to mix it now. I'm going to mix it. You know, Dr. Murray. Dr. Murray, Ani left this. And she ain't going to be here for a while. Great tasting nutrient and Vitamin rich antioxidant powerhouse based in the wild Alaskan blueberry and other super fruits. So I mix this with it. <laughs> you know, Dr. Ani, I got her book here someplace. I got my book, I got her book back in, uh, what's name too? Let's see it someplace. Uh, put this in here like that, a little bit of that. Ah. So, this would be my drink. But I, like I was saying, we should save a little bit of salt for after the, after I'm eating. Just get reading glasses off, man. I can't. Reading glasses trip me out. Ah, okay. I'm putting my regular glasses on. Or oh, sunglasses, a little bit. Tinted glasses. What I went to today, I went to the Guggenheim. You know the Guggenheim. Frank Lloyd Wright, this is their 60th anniversary. It was built in the world, whatever, finished in 1959, like six months after he died, they opened it. 
And uh, so, so the, the first person, the one that commissioned him to do the thing, uh, Hiller Rebe, uh, Guggenheim's first director, Hiller Rebe, commissioned this guy. And he told Frank Lloyd Wright to design a temple of spirit, a monument. A temple of spirit, a monument. I got this because I went and saw the, the, the squad. Je, where's this thing at? Oh, there. Uh, oh, they just give me this, just a membership. Oh. Anyway, uh, the Jim, the Bisquat, the, the guy that died, um, um, well, not died, but he was an artist and blah, 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 blah. But he did this whole thing to, um, to Michael Stewart, who died on uh, on 14th Street, uh, right? I was living on 14th Street and Avenue A. He died on the subway station, 14th Street and First Avenue, which is like one long block away. I remember that because I was down there at the time. It was a, it was a really interesting time. Um, well, I hope it also got today. Picked up some cashews, some raw cashews. I miss my raw cashews. Um, so he died in, in Bisquad, you know, because I can't explain the scene down there at the time was uh, interesting. That's when punk rock was really taken over. But everybody was really truly um, an interesting melting pot, you know. You know, but black, what do you call it? black liberation had gone, whatever, you know. There was like black people, but it was like a bunch of things. Anyway, but, but they had this, in this this uh, little exhibit, they, they was focusing on the, Mike, the Michael um, Stewart uh, uh, killing or whatever it is. Um, and because of this, what did a whole thing on it, you know? Um, and, but what's interesting, and one, and one of the, uh, so, so as they go, and then, and, and they had a the little description next to each thing, but then they was talking about one thing that friends were saying that, you know, he wasn't a graffiti, because they, they said that he was, the police said that he was uh, killed because he was tagging on the subway or something like that. But we in the neighborhood, we knew exactly what the fact is, out of accounts, they would have. What happened was, uh, he, uh, 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 a white girl that he was hanging out with, whatever it was, she jumped in and she was getting in the cab. He just gave them a friendly kiss goodnight. And there was these transit cops, you know, outside of the station. They saw all this stuff. And of course, you know, what we call race soldiers. We didn't call it back then. Maybe nearly, nearly fully Jews, they called it back then. Well, anyway, they saw this and it infuriated them. So they followed him down into the train station and they killed him, executed him. Simple as that, you know? <laughs> you know, so that, that's what he did. But he was like, he was a, um, he was an artist, a model. He went to, to Pratt, you know, uh, the, the, the the fashion school Pratt. You know, he was just in the neighborhood doing his thing. He was a good looking, you know, young man. So they had this exhibit. This is why I don't like museums. I really don't like museums. And this made me really. <laughs> anyway, there's this one section. The wall is just, you know, they had some some pamphlets or something like that. Then they had this whole thing about. Um, it's killing over there, and this world is just vacant. And then they said this whole thing about they didn't mention anything about the white girl on this thing. So I was saying, like, hey, if this was truly what's happening back then, especially then, because they did say graffiti, I would be a big spray painted that he was killed because he was kissing a white girl or something. I was something I would put on that thing, but you won't know that until you go down and get the catalog. I said this museum sells the catalog. But it also goes to show that the the, the, the person who, the guest curator, I think she was born in Texas, something like that, now she lives in New York, whatever it is. But if you wasn't there at that time, you wouldn't get this sort of perspective. If you don't, I, I don't know. Then they have the whole curation team that they do stuff. I don't know who these people are, how close they are to the ground, but I don't like it. I don't like it, you know? Um, and I did, um, in fact, let me put the link there. I did a, an interview. I was fortunate to do an interview with a young lady who's about to graduate um, no, Parsons School of Design. It's a it's a really good interview. I'm not saying because I did it. It's just a really good interview. It shows you. I'll, I'll put it there. I mean, her name is uh, is Autumn, but but you 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 see it. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the link. I have to. Anyway, so it's upset me. I don't even know. I went to the museum because Loretta, Loretta Dumas. You know, she comes to New York every once in a while. You know, she's 85. She's still getting around. And so I said, sure, I'll go with you to, to why not hang out with Loretta. You know, and, and Chris Brandt joined us. So, 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 so that's why I was at the museum. In fact, there's another one. I think she's going with a friend on Sunday to another, to the Met, something like that. I might join them there. I like hanging out with Loretta. Anyway, so that's why I went, you know. Uh, but uh, the Guggenheim, outside it looks good. Inside, it's just the same 
old whiteness. Outside is, yeah, the inside is the same old whiteness. <laughs> outside is the whiteness. So you go to Google High, you're going to get whiteness. And if you listen, if you see the interview, you, you, we touch on that, we touch on that topic. Let's put it that way. So you can see for yourself, um, just, just a little uh, advice, a little uh, suggestion for me, T, from the Patterson Signal Train to Tibet, letting you know what I always suspect. From here, my, well, this is not really an A.D. West. Yeah, it is an A.D. West thing. It was killed by, by a race soldier. Yeah. From a reality of the A.D.O.S., that would be American descendants of chattel slavery. Oh, hey. 